Avery was saying there's two teams that, that swept you guys in the regular season. One of them is the number one seed, one of them is the number 10 seed. It's I mean, amazing, it's, huh? It's, <laughs> go figure, I guess. But heading in, just your thoughts on, on Tech and, and what it was about the regular season, why they had that success against Well, you know what? We went, I'll be honest with you. It's matchups. You know, you, sometimes you match up good against teams, sometimes you don't. A couple years ago, it was Duquesne. You know, we, we could beat the number three team in the country, but we struggled with the game because of the matchups with the five or certain players. And Texas Tech is those matchups. They got a small post player, like 5'11, 5'10, that can shoot the three, can start the break, can do that stuff, which is a matchup problem for us. Um, and, then, and then they have the, the guard, the first team all conference guard, very, very good. Um, so, you know, it's been a matchup problem um, after watching tape on them for the third time. Uh, you know, we, we, we didn't play hard either game, to be honest with you. But, you know, it, it, we're going to have to really concentrate for 40 minutes and because it is a matchup concern for us. Do you guys adjust anything? Do you have to do anything differently because that matchup? Is... You know, we tried zone down there. That didn't work. <laughs> uh, you know, we tried switching off different people and different people. We tried to go smaller with Crystal Leary, and that didn't seem to work. So, you know, we, we just got to do a better job. We got we to gotta concentrate a little bit better, and, and, and our assignments, we got to do a better job at them. How frustrating is it when it's a question of effort? You said you went back and looked and... Yeah, yeah, that, especially at their place. Especially at their place, we just didn't play hard. We just didn't play hard. And uh, there was no, you know, I showed them clips this morning at practice, before practice. This is why we got beat at their place. I mean, it was obvious. But, uh, you know, we're just going to do It's a new season. And, uh, you know, we'll see. We, we, we've got to go deeper into the tournament, have a chance. So we'll see what we're made of. Have you noticed from past experiences, you know, going to a, a place like Dallas playing in an NBA-style arena that it kind of rejuvenates some players? Or it scares them. <laughs> Either or. <laughs> uh, you, you, you know what? This, probably this year, we played the worst on the road this year than we have in a lot of years. And we haven't changed anything. I mean, you know, usually when it's working, you try to keep it the same. You know, I try to mix up a little bit this year. We used to practice the night before at the gym, so I start practicing here, trying to change up different things and all that. But, you know, it happened the other night at Kansas State. You know, we're up double figures all the game. I know how Texas felt, because that's what, how we felt there. It was the same type of game. We led the whole game double figures and ended up getting beat. So, uh, you know, it, it's up to us. You know, even though all the mistakes we made this year, all the things we did this year is still in our hands. We don't need anybody to beat anybody. We got to go there and beat some people. And, and so that that's good. It's in our hands and not in somebody else's hands. NCAA tournament still on everyone's mind? Yeah, absolutely. I think we got to go win two or three in, in, in this tournament here. Uh, you know, we won a lot of games against Top 100 teams, top 50, top uh, some against top 25 RPI teams. So I mean, that's not the issue. It, it, it's the issue of our league record right now. So we need to go in the league tournament and win win some games. Lene, Bria, Avery, even you a little earlier, it said it's a new season. Yeah. How how important is that for you guys to turn that page and say, look, we're getting a fresh start. Make the most of it. Well, it is important. Uh, very important. It's hard after you watch tape, but it's still, you know, you try to go in this positive. You try to go in uh, this. It's, a, you know, no matter, even though we lost to Texas Tech twice before, it's a new season. It's on a neutral floor. It's not on anybody's home floor. So, you know, we, we just got to go in there and be positive, play hard, and we have to have the mindset we're going to play hard three or four days in a row. It's just not going to be a one-day thing. It's got to be, you know, because you're going to play back to back to back. And, you know, that's tough to do. But, you know, we've had teams here at West Virginia that have done that before. We've had teams here that played four days in a row and, and was very successful. So it can be done if you have the right mindset and, and, and the heart to do it. When it comes to trying to defend Amber Battle, Texas Tech, uh, she was a first-team selection, just like Bria. But um, what makes her so tough to guard? Well, she can shoot the three. She take you off the dribble. She can lead the break. She can post you. I mean, she's pretty good. <laughs> she's pretty good guard. She's she's as good as guard there is in the league. Tough matchup. 
tough, tough matchup because she can do all the, uh, of the above. Um, you know, she's been a great player in this league since the last three years we've been in this league. So it's not a su surprise to me. And uh, she's got better from last year to this year. She's a, she's a better three-point shooter this year than she was last year, which makes her harder to guard. I'm sure your seniors have been leaders all year. Have you noticed them stepping up, knowing that the finish line is right down the road? Yeah, you know, Crystal Leary the other night against Kansas State uh, was sick. We, we played her for about two minutes, and then she didn't get a play. We didn't even bring her out the second half. So that kind of hurt us a little bit there, especially energy-wise. But, you know, it was more important. We, we didn't want to, you know, make it worse. So she didn't even come out the second half uh, for the game. Feels better now. Still a little weak. But, uh, yeah, seniors got to step up. Uh, but, you know, they can't do it by themselves when you only have three seniors, only two of them start. It's got to be some other people step up and stay focused and, and, and continue to play hard. You know, they're going to get tired, but you know what? So everybody in the game's going to get tired on the other team too. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. We just got to play with a lot of heart, a lot of determination, and, and a lot of pride. Crystal a concern for, for the Tech game, or, or do you think she's going to be full go? Crystal is a tough girl. I, I, I think, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. You know, I know she'll give it a try, but we'll see. We'll see where she's at. You know, she's not going to tell me <laughs> she can't go, so, but, I, but you can tell when you're out there at the energy level. So we'll see what her energy level is. Okay. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks.